Hello everyone, this is Federico Arellano. You can find me at Arellano Yao with double L and Y. And today I am pleased to have um, an interview from Italy. Hello, are you, are you here with us, Emiliano? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> so first question, what is your full name and where do you live? I'm Emiliano Reali and I live in Rome, Italy. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, can you describe a little bit your relationship with entrepreneurship? What do you do that is related to this subject? Yes, absolutely. I think that at, at the first sight, your question uh, could seem like a mistake because I'm a writer. But analyzing your question, uh, I can say that to be a writer doesn't mean only to write because you have to sell your words, your book to a literary agent, to a publisher, to readers. Uh, so you have to be the entrepreneur of yourself. Uh, you have always to keep connection with people, always keep connection with journalists, always, mm, always be present on the social. So it's, uh, entrepreneurship is a part of the job of writer. Absolutely. Uh, you're talking about very interesting matters. Uh, for, for instance, networking, uh, selling your ideas, uh, we, we would call it to, 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 to investment funds or to investment funds or something, but in your way, of course, to publishers. And, and that's just amazing how similar that is. Um, I would like to ask another question. How would you say a writer can impact uh, their society? I think that to be a writer uh, is a bigger responsibility, you know, because uh, through your books, uh, you can enter in the house of people, in the minds of people, in the earth of people. So you have to be really careful uh, about what you write and the way you present to people, because uh, I want uh, to think uh, that sometimes uh, through your books, uh, you could change person. It that doesn't uh, happen really often, but uh, even if you can change the mind and the, and the heart of one person on 100, it's a big result because culture can do this sort of spell. Absolutely. Which, which was the book that changed you? Uh, I, I have two questions on, 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 this, on this topic. The first, which was the, the, the book, the first book that made uh, this, this life-changing impact in your life? And the other one, was it through a book that you decided to become a writer? Well, um, I don't know if there is a, only one book that uh, ch changed something in, uh, in myself, but every time I read a book, it's a new experience. I discovered something else of my personality and some feelings that perhaps were hidden in some, inside of myself. So. Uh, I can say to you that uh, I really loved uh, an American writer, Gore Vidal, uh, and uh, I really loved uh, Myra Bregerich, that was uh, an amazing novel about uh, um, transsexuality that was written, uh, if I'm not, uh, if I'm right, about uh, 1968 in America. So it was uh, wow. one of the first books uh, about this team, and uh, Gore Vidal was a gorgeous writer. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, with my book, uh, I could do something similar for the uh, actual people, actual readers, because for example, with my last book, uh, that is, uh, If Bambi Were a Trans, uh, that, uh, it has been released in Spanish uh, in some months ago with the title, Si Bambi Fuera Trans. Uh, I, I, I would like, uh, to explain to people the reality of LGBT community, the LGBT community lives. So it could be an instrument against homophobia, transphobia, to let people know something that usually they know only through stereotypes. I would like to think that through my book, they could know something from inside that is the the real way, the, the better way to know really someone. Absolutely. Um, first of all, as, as a member of the LGBT community, I have to say thank you for doing this work, for, for writing this, this sort of books. Uh, the title for, for me was amazing because uh, it just uh, woke up my, my, uh, my curiosity about what would this book be about. Uh, by the end of the interview, I would like you to, to please tell us where to reach you, where to, where to buy your books, because I think this would be um, just, just amazing. Um, 
Thank you for that. Uh, and now, uh, talking about the challenges, is it hard? Because entrepreneurship is always hard. Uh, you, you, you're always kind of uh, conquering different mountains, right? And always climbing uphill uh, in order to achieve different goals. Um, how hard it is in your country, how challenging it is in your country to make a living out of, out of uh, writing? Which are the challenges that you face the most uh, by, by making a living out of it? Yeah, absolutely. The last years was terrible. The last pandemic years was terrible for our category. But uh, I want to say that to be a writer is very difficult. And it's difficult, above all, if you write about uh, no commercial arguments, you know? I, I, in my books, I deal about uh, social issues. And uh, these, uh, uh, these subjects are not commercial. And in a commercial view, it means that they don't bring money. So it's very difficult to find a publisher that really uh, f um, believe in your books and that promote it because it's uh, something that uh, it's quite uh, social. It's uh, something like political, but uh, you, um, actually it's very hard. So the, the only way to achieve your goals is uh, or to know the right person, and it's very sad, or through the years, like me, because I'm writing since 20 years, try to do your step, one, one, another, one, another, one, another, to get your satisfaction and to achieve your goals. But uh, I want to say that it's really hard. It's really hard because if you write something like me that is uh, general literature, doesn't mean commercial literature, it doesn't mean no money. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is something that we should all consider, right? Uh, talking about uh, art, uh, like, like literature, like painting, uh, sometimes like, like theater, um, it's, it's extra hard for people to, to actually invest in, in, in this sort of ideas, which I think it's a mistake, right? Because uh, in, 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 in our culture, I think it's, it's just amazing. And I think it will be one of the great uh, business of, of, of the future, you know, to, to, to stand out with this diversity and to stand out with, with this uh, parts of, of art that will be just, just brilliant. Um, also, I find a lot of similarities in what you tell me uh, with, with different entrepreneurs on different branches. Um, on one side, I think that uh, this sort of networking thing, um, it's, it's so common, right? Always you need to know the right person that can help you or the, pe or the person who knows that person. Um, hopefully, social media can help um, all of us in, in doing this. And hopefully, this kind of interviews can help uh, other people to get to know you and get to know your work. That's pretty much what we are commanded to. And, and the other things um, about, you know, about making, um, yeah, about making a career on this, I think that the first steps are very hard pretty much for everyone that goes out of, of what a society tells them to do, right? Of writing, about, in your case, of writing about the topics that may be considered more commercial. Or, um, for example, in, in, in Mexican culture, you know, by, by the only uh, thing of, of, of saying, uh, well, I want to, to make a living out of art, that would be just outrageous and, 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 and that would be a drama in, in the family, probably an Italian drama in, in, in the family. Uh, because it, 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 it might be considered um, not common and it might be considered that it's going to be extra hard for this. Uh, but I think there are also some, so many good things about, doing, um, about making a living on what you believe, right? Uh, in my case, I wouldn't change the entrepreneurial path pretty much for anything else because it allows me the opportunity of being myself, of working on what I truly believe. Uh, now I want to talk about the positive things. Uh, what would you say are the main advantages of being a writer, especially in your country, but in general, what would you say are the main advantages of making a living out of what you want? Okay. Um, um, in my country, to be a writer doesn't bring you advantages because uh, I want to, expl uh, to explain you a thing. Uh, some weeks, weeks ago, I met in Rome, a Spanish writer, that was in Rome with a scholarship of the Spain government that paid him just to allow him to be in Rome, relaxed, and write and finish his book. In Italy, it doesn't happen. When the government will pay me to go to Mexico and to write my book, I think that uh, 
uh, eventually the human being has, begun, has become uh, peaceful, uh, respectful, uh, and so I think that this time it will never come. So, uh, but the av advantages from a personal point of view, like you said, are that I can uh, wake up in the morning and to do something that I love, something that gives me a sense. You know, if I believe to, co to, to help people through my books uh, and to do something that is really meaningful, this uh, gives me a um, um, consciousness of myself and the reason because I'm here in this moment in the world. So from a personal point of view, to decide to stop my manager working because I was an HR manager for a big international company for writing was a very, very difficult decision. But where I made it, I made it the best things I could do in my life. So I'm really, I'm really happy. I'm really proud to try to live through writing and through books. But I'm really conscious, the conscious of the hardness that I have to face is constantly in front of me. But uh, I, I'm not scared and I face it every day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and it's, it's part of our living, right? To, to be facing these challenges and stand out to them and say, okay, I am, I am going to do it. Um, thank you. Thank you for your answer. Uh, finally, the, the two last questions. The first one, do you help other writers, entrepreneurs? Do you do, you do something to, to, to make this community a little stronger? Besides, of course, writing and, and, and making this, these ideas uh, turning into paper? Well, um, Italian writers community is very strange because uh, there is a sort of hypocrisy in the surface, you know? Uh, I think that beyond, uh, beyond smiles, uh, there is a lot of jealousy. So uh, what I try to do in the years is uh, to create a net of a good, prof good person, people that I can trust on and that can trust on me. So it's not easy. You have to find real person, true person, but you, you can find. You have just to identify who is in, in front of you. But I really believe in the strongness of connection in the possible to help someone because perhaps now is living what you live in the past. And the hope is that I will meet someone that will help me too, because good people recognize themselves. And so uh, I really believe in this, absolutely. Thank you, thank you, Emiliano. Um, and finally, would you like to share a final message for all of the entrepreneurs all over the world that maybe writers or maybe doing something different, but they are facing the same challenges that you faced in the past? Yeah, I want to say absolutely that uh, you, you should not allow to anyone to say that uh, this is not your path. If you believe in that, if you feel that is your path, you have to believe in your dream and go on. No one can say, no, you are not the person that could do this. You, you will show him that he was wrong. And what I would like to say to writers in the war, in this really terrible moment of war, is that culture is really important. Culture could create a better world. A culture could fight hate, could fight discrimination. So every writer as a mission, as a big responsibility. Every one of us could give his contribute to make a better world. And it's very important. Thank you. Thank you so much, Emiliano. Molto grazie um, for this interview. Grazie a te, Federico. Thank you, Federico, for the invitation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching um, and see you on the next one.